Okay, so before this video even starts, I have to hit you with the disclaimer. This is not intended to be financial advice in any way. Stick to investing 101. Never invest money that you cannot afford to lose. Now with that out of the way, let's roll the intro. Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel, Side Hustle Seattle. So first things first, you're probably like, what background is this? I'm actually at my parents' house. My first time getting to visit them in like a year and a half, so that's nice, but they're working. So I figured I'd just film a video while they're working. Anyways, I wanted to do a challenge. So I've been seeing a lot of challenges on YouTube, mainly the one where you turn $1,000 to $10,000 through investing or trading um, and I've not I've never gotten around to actually doing it but now I'm ready to go uh, so I wanted to dive into it so people do it a few different ways they either do it through like stock trading or options trading I actually wanted to try it through cryptocurrency so again the general premise of the challenge is you have a thousand dollars that you start off with and by the end of the year or within some period of time you try to flip that to be ten thousand dollars right now I've invested for a while I've been investing for as long as I can remember, at least since I graduated college. Um, but I'm a very risk adverse person, right? Like I am, I value long-term gains. I value things that are just gonna give you steady returns. Like I, I keep it simple. Call me an S&P 500 type of girl. Um, and so the idea of investing in crypto was never really appealing to me. One, it's extremely volatile. Um, and then two, I just don't, it's hard to understand, right? And I don't tend to throw money into something I can't completely understand. So I had to do like a ton of research to even really feel comfortable with this challenge. Um, and even then, I'm not comfortable even fully explaining what cryptocurrency is to you all. So I'm not even gonna try. I'm just gonna link the videos that I watched to help me learn it. Probably put some basic definition uh, on the screen just so you know generally what I'm talking about. Um, but with that being said, if it's volatile, if it's hard to understand, why did I decide to use that as my way um, to try to turn $1,000 into $10,000? So I guess for me, the biggest thing was one, it forces me to learn more about it. Like regardless if I like it or not, if I'm passionate about it or not, cryptocurrency is here to stay. It's not going anywhere. Um, and so at this point, right, investing is all about just putting yourself in a better, better financial position. And so if cryptocurrency is a potential way to get there, like I wanna know more about it. Um, and so doing the challenge this way has made me kind of like have to do a little bit more research and dive in. And I've taken like a lot of even classes <laughs> to try to figure it out, Udemy classes, which are nice since I get those free through work. Um, but yeah, I think that's that's a big reason for me. I, I get a chance to educate myself and really learn about it. Okay, so the second reason I decided to choose crypto is because if you've been on the internet at all in the last three or four months, then you would know that crypto is having an absolute moment. Like anytime I get on Twitter, it's trending, it's like blowing up, like the hype is on 100 right now. And hype is good and bad, right? It's good because it causes major swings. Like there's been plenty of cryptos who have seen like 3000% return on investment in the span of like a few months, which is unheard of in the general stock market. And the good thing about that is it's allowed everyday normal people, average earners to make more in three months than they could have ever made in 20 years on the stock market. And I like that. I like that normal people have been able to, to find wealth and be able to find you know, financial stability through it. But um, one of the things to keep in mind with hype is that it's fickle and that's the bad side of it, right? It comes just as quickly as it goes. And so you have to time it right. And so for every person that did see that 3000% return and all of a sudden has hundreds of thousands of dollars on a $200 investment, there's a thousand other people who lost it all. So like I said in the beginning of the video, it's really important uh, to not invest money that you cannot afford to lose, okay? Don't go ahead, throw all your savings, throw all your rent money in, hoping to strike big, because if you lose it, now you're down and out, all right? So just keep that in mind. Uh, just be smart when it comes to investing, especially in something that is extremely volatile. Now, do I want to lose a thousand dollars? No, but I can afford to lose it. So I'm willing to do the challenge to experiment, you can follow along, so that way if you're too nervous to do it, you can live vicariously through me. So let me go into my strategy. Okay, so when it comes to strategy, I wanted to pick something that I feel like was still, <clears throat> still had some hype left in it. Like I lucked up maybe three months ago, I picked this random coin, put you know a couple hundred dollars into it, something small, and I ended up seeing like 2,000% return, which that was lucky. Like I didn't do any research, I just kind of threw it in because I wanted to like, dip a feet in the water, it ended up working out. But 
I feel like that particular coin is like, it's done, the hype is gone for that. I don't think there's anything left to get out of that particular one. So now I have to find the next one, right? And a thousand percent return in six months is gonna be really hard. So I need to pick one that I feel like people are going to catch on to soon. So I did a bunch of research. I watched a bunch of YouTube videos to see what people were talking about the most, like which crypto kept coming up or which cryptos kept coming up. And so um, in combination of YouTube and then like Twitter to see what was going on, I ended up picking one coin to go with. Now I could have spread that thousand dollars amongst a bunch of different ones. Um, and I still can, right? Like at the end of the day, that one doesn't work out. I can always sell some of it, sell all of it and split it back up. Um, but I decided to start with one to begin with. So let's go into which one that is. Okay, so this is Coinbase. Coinbase, think of it like the crypto version of Fidelity or Charles Schwab, right? So you can see all the different coins right there, um, what their current price is, how they're trending, etc. So if we go into Bitcoin, which I feel like everybody's heard about, you can see that in you know a year's time, it's gone up to almost 500%. Um, now Cardano, that's the one I decided to go with. So it's currently at $1.80. Um, in a week, it's gone up 35%, a month 48, um, and then a year it's gone up 3.4 thousand percent. So there's a possibility that the hype's already gone and dead, but I'm banking on the fact that this one will continue to go up further. So this is what we're gonna go with. So I'm gonna go ahead and buy it. Now I've already put money in this account, so I put $1,000 into it. So I'll go ahead and just charge the whole thing. Now you can see once I buy it that Coinbase does take a fee. Not all of them do take fees, but this one does. And so I really only get $985 of it, but I'll go ahead and buy now. And that's for 451 tokens. Boom. And now I have 541 tokens in my account that I can then, you know, trade, sell, whatever I want to do. So that is, it's done. I've already spent the thousand dollars. It's in there. So at the end of the day, um, the best case scenario, right, is that that ended up catching on it again, right? Because it already went up 3.4 thousand percent in a year. So it's already had some sort of movement. But the hope is that it gets another wave. And at least from what I've been seeing on YouTube, the blogs I've been reading, all of that, it seems like it may. Um, but if it doesn't, that's okay. Like the one thing I do like about crypto is you can actually trade it really quickly. So it's not like stocks where if a stock's not doing well for you and you want to put it, go into a different stock, like you have to sell it and then buy into another one. Like this one, you can just trade straight across in a matter of seconds. So if I don't like that one, I'll trade it into something else that I feel like um, will really give me those gains. So I'll keep an eye on it. Um, I'll probably check it. I have like alerts on for um, anything that has some big swings. So if that's not working out, again, I will move it, but I will do some periodic check-ins, probably like midway between now and the end of the year to let you know how that investment has been going. Um, but yeah, let me know what you think. Let me know, do you invest in crypto? Honestly, if you invest in crypto and you feel like you know a lot and you have a good strategy, put me on, because I'm trying to learn. Again, I'm a general stock market, you know, safe investor type of person. That's what I'm comfortable with. That's what I've already done my research in. Um, so crypto is still new to me. So if you've been in it for a while, please educate me, educate my subscribers. Um, also, if you were doing this challenge and you had to turn $1,000 into $10,000, how would you do it? Like, what would your strategy be? Would you do the stock trading? Would you do the options trading? Would you do something else? Like I've seen people do it to where they buy an item for $1,000 and then they keep flipping that item until it's worth something a lot more. So that's also something, but I'm not like a good flipper, so I wouldn't use that one. But anyways, uh, leave a comment. Let me know what you think. Let me know how you would do it. And as always, thank you for watching and I will catch you in the next video.